OK, so let's say we've got a vector. Let's call it A. And it's the vector that goes 8 along the x-axis and 3 up the y-axis. So 8, 3. And I could represent it as either a column vector or in component form. It doesn't matter which. And let's say I want to find the length of this vector or the magnitude. Now, when we talk about magnitude or length, we mean the same thing. OK, so these uh, two uh, terms mean precisely the same thing. They're asking for exactly the same. So how could I do that? Well, what you need to think about with vectors is that because you've got this instruction about going 8 along the x-axis, 3 up the y-axis, you can always consider a vector as a right-angled triangle, OK, where we have 8 in this case as the base, and 3 as the height. So if I'm asked to find the length of that vector, well, it's the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. So I could just use Pythagoras. So it would be the square root of 8 squared plus 3 squared. So square root 64 plus 9, so root 73 in this case. Now the notation-wise of how we write that down is we can put modulus signs either side of the vector A. So when we put these vertical lines either side of A, we are talking about its length, its magnitude. Okay. So whereas A is, has a vector quantity, because it has both uh, magnitude and direction, the modulus here make sure that we're just focusing on the magnitude. And so what we get is just a number, a scalar. And that's how we can calculate it.